While watching the online lectures, be sure to use the attached packet to take notes on. You'll find the link for the packet here at the title page for each chapter. Click on it, then print out the packet. These gray boxes in the online lectures refer to the slides and pages in the packet. So let's talk about our quick product method here. Notice there's a lot of steps in getting to the answer. We want to do this immediately on an exam. So how does it work here? Let's just say, for instance, this is the actual test question. What you're going to do is locate at least one of the allylic positions. Let's say, again, this one right here. And immediately in your head here, turn him into a radical. And basically write down what kind of radical he would be. He would obviously be a primary radical. Then what you're going to do is immediately in your head is perform this resonance jump, but doing it without drawing all the arrows. And let me show you how to do that here. Remember, the resonance for any allylic radical looks something like this. The arrow movements go like this here, and we end up with this as a result. But all we care about is just what effectively happened here. Notice every allylic system technically has these three carbons right here. And after the resonance move, these three carbons becomes these three carbons right here. Notice the carbon in the green box was the radical. Now it's the carbon in the blue box that becomes the radical. And notice the double bond was originally between the red box carbon and the blue box carbon. And now it's between the green box carbon and the red box carbon. So effectively, all you're doing is moving the radical, let's say three carbons over, and moving the double bond over like that. This is something you can quickly do in your head. So let's go back and let's apply that here. Notice if you were going to do this immediately, these would be the three carbons that you're focusing on. And remember, the blue carbon is going to become the new radical, and the double bond is going to form between the red and the green carbon. So that would basically be this. Notice you have your new radical right here, and you got the new double bond formed here. So that's how we quickly make this move without having to draw those arrows. And notice we can now pay attention to what radical we get here. This would be just a secondary radical. So that's how we would quickly analyze the first allylic position. And you would do the same exact thing for the second allylic position. That is, again, locate him. This would be the second one here. Again, turn him into a radical and ask yourself, what kind of radical would that be? Notice he's not only secondary, but he's also benzylic. So we take note of that. And then remember, we, in our head, perform the quick resonance move here. He would move three carbons over the radical. The double bond would then move this way. And we would end up with this right here as a result. And again, we'd take note of what kind of radical that is. He's just a plain secondary radical, which enables us to effectively compare allylic position one against two. Remember, we got allylic one gave us a primary and a secondary radical. And we see here allylic two gives us secondary benzylic and secondary, which again means that that is definitely more favorable. So your work here is done. You know to go in the allylic two direction here which means, again, go back to the original allylic radical, replace him with a BR, do your quick resonance move to get the second radical and replace him with the BR, and you end up with these two products. So notice how quickly you can pull this off on an exam.